Well, hi, my name is Janice. My name is Beth. It's Gabriel. My name is Linda. I'm Steven. I'm Megan Jenkins. My name is Kenyon. Dave. I'm John McConnell. I grew up in a conservative Catholic family. I grew up in the South. Uh, my family's pretty religious. But they're very conservative. I knew I was different. I always really kind of knew I liked boys. I felt like I grew up like the only gay person in my neighborhood and the entire state and the entire world. Wondering, why did this happen to me? Why me? I thought I was alone. I thought that I was the only one that felt that way. When I started to kind of like isolate myself and withdraw. I didn't really have a lot of friends. I pretended like I didn't care that I wasn't socializing. I didn't really, I honestly really had nothing to turn to. You know, people started talking about me rather than talking to me. Um, there were rumors about me, you know, everywhere. I uh, kind of shied away from any kind of school activities. It happened to be most of my friends were like girls at the, girls at the time, so um, that didn't work in my favor, so I was teased very heavily for that. You know, there were more and more rumors and less and less friends every day. You know, I kept hearing whispered things behind my back. I got teased a lot. I remember the first time I was called faggot. I was 12 years old. She said, what is that in your hair? I don't think he knew that I was actually gay. I think he was just, he was just, you know, calling me a faggot because he was like, you know, the school bully. It wasn't just spitballs, it was gum. There was chewing gum all in my hair. And in high school, I didn't come out because I was scared. And when I came out in college, I realized I didn't need to be. The first person I came out to was actually a coworker at Starbucks. It was really bad. And um, they actually kicked me out. We were just talking, he said, I've just got a question and feel free to say no if you want to. And he's like, are you a lesbian? I went, yeah, I am. And he's like, cool. Uh, my niece died. It was the first time I really felt like I could trust somebody. They told me that I was going to hell. I had a cup, my cousin told me that I wasn't going to see my niece in heaven. And that I needed to change if I wanted to see her again. And so I would tell myself that that's not true. And um, things get better and that you're a good person. And um, like you're, you're okay. And being, gay, being who you are is perfectly fine. I'm a lesbian. And their reaction was okay. And that was probably the best weekend that we had. And my parents just kind of realized that life is too short. Fortunately, I found a way to finish school. Um, I got a fresh start, and that's where I really have come to found that it gets better. I found a world of difference in college. I was able to uh, join the gay club. I was able to make lots of gay friends. I had professors who were gay, and I realized that there's a whole world out there. It not only gets better, it gets amazing. I wish I had had the courage to say it when I was younger, um, because I know with my family, with my church family that I have here, and with my front runners family, that it's okay. And it does get better. The important thing is you need to remember that you, you need to be here to see how amazing it can get. And so then, then things, you know, got better with my family and my, and my friends. And Even though the most horrible thing could, that I thought could happen did happen, I am still okay. That's sort of when I was able to shed the anonymity of and secrecy of being gay. Started building my own network of friends through running, through soccer, through rugby, through all sorts of different avenues. Life is really good. If I could go back in time and tell my, I guess, 13, 14 year old self something, it would be... It gets better. It really does get better. And everything that I was worrying about, everything that I was fearful of, was all like really just in my head. If you feel like you don't have that friend or that adult you can trust in school, hang in there. It's going to get better. Reaching out to anybody, um, somebody that you trust. You're not alone and there's a lot of other kids going through what you're going through. So it's important to have people there to help you. Go online, that's what I did. <laughs> and you'll find people to connect to. Your most important resource is yourself. Find a connection with somebody because um, it gets really lonely sometimes. and. Uh, it's, it's not always that way. Things won't always be the same. Things will change. And, um, you know, it may feel that you are the only one or that you're so unique that there's no one else like you. But you have to remember that's not the case. And um, there are other people like you. It's just a matter of finding them. The road's a very big place, but they're there. I just have so many more relationships that are so much more open and honest. And I can be just myself. And it's great. Um, so it gets better. <laughs> I've been involved with the club for three years. I have amazing friendships. I have the cutest girlfriend ever. 
all the other writing groups know exactly who you are because you're with front runners. And you, you start to learn and realize that being gay is something that's pretty fantastic. Every year that you get older, your life will get better. I have enjoyed every year of my life more than the last. There are tons of people out there who are just like you and who will support you and who will love you for who you are. Hold on, don't get discouraged. Tomorrow is not going to be the same as today. So, so don't, there's no reason to end anything today because there's always a tomorrow and who knows what it's going to bring. Um, so be strong. Hey, hang in there, you can make it. You're not alone and it does get better. I am a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, I'm a, an athlete, I'm a runner, I'm an attorney, um, and I'm a lesbian. It gets better! It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets so much better. It gets better. It gets better.